Let's go to people being assaulted in diners because a lot. Of, yeah. Listen, you could argue oh, that Ugh. as police as it relates to police officers, right, and and and, and convicted uh, felons, or as it relates to people protecting their businesses and convicted felons, that all those people sort of picked a side and they were involved either in riots yeah. or protecting or protecting citizenry. So they're all at fault, right? It's all one of those zero yeah. tolerance policies, like in high school, where you be. can have your face being beaten in and you shove the guy off and you both get suspended. <laughs> Um, it's but messed up, man. let's go now to people who had nothing to do with these protests at all. This is happening uh, more and more now in cities across the United States where they are then accosted and assaulted while just trying to enjoy their meal. This could be you next, according to Black Lives Matter. Wow. Put your fist up is yeah. what they're saying. Put your fist up. Now, huh? Yelling at him to put his fist up, and that guy, look at that guy look next to her. Uh, look at that guy. Soy man. That guy next to her with his fist up, like, please devour me last. <laughs> <laughs> please, just give me an extra few minutes so I can say my goodbyes. <laughs> what what a, are you guys? What an ass, right, guys? That, that guy with his fist up. Like, you're not stopping an assault, and let's be clear, assault is not battery, getting in someone's Correct. face and demanding to put their fists up. Now, this is something I want. What my question of the day? This is important because you see a lot of internet tough guys responding, and a lot of internet not so tough guys responding. I think both yeah. are wrong. People saying, "Well, you should sit there and take it." I don't agree. People saying you should run away. Having experienced this ourselves, they follow you. Yeah, you turn your time. back, they're like the little ghosts from Super Mario World. They follow you oh, wherever gosh. you go. Jerks. It's not something that's. It's not an option that's available to you. And then some people saying, "Well, you know what? Uh, I would just go after them." That's also incorrect. So this is my advice to you. Um, and we've we, we've learned about these uh, kind of some of these techniques, I guess, when you do a concealed carry class. Masai yeah. Ayub has been on the show. Um, one thing that you need to know is if you listen to police officers when they're saying, drop the gun, drop the gun. Hey, everyone, there's an active shooter. Please find cover. What they're doing is creating witnesses. Because in the chaos of violence, people tend to forget. And then afterwards, they'll sort of patch it together and it may not be accurate. So what you need to do when this is happening and someone's getting in your face and someone's assaulting, you need to do, let me go through the steps. De-escalate as best you can while yeah. simultaneously creating witnesses. Hey, listen, I don't know you. You're a stranger. I'm uncomfortable. Please get out of my space. Right. You protect the most, vo as you do that simultaneously, make sure someone's filming. Yeah. You don't want them to take one clip out of context. You film all of it then also protect the most vulnerable among you. The way that guy screwed up was his wife, her back was facing the mob. Yeah. And I have a wife right now who's compromised with GPS. I would say, sweetheart, yeah. get inside, call the police officers, start filming. Okay, listen, w just please leave me alone. I wanna eat my meal. And then if they get within physical distance of you where you are threatened, take care of business. And I wanna be clear here, you should never hit a woman, but that's not about a woman versus a man. That's a woman with right. 20 with people who are yelling at this man yeah. and threatening him. It could not be less relevant if your wife or family are in danger. Yep. Do not yeah. come out swinging, but don't sit there and take it. Do not kneel. Do not put up your fist. It doesn't matter because they probably moved on to that guy next and then didn't save the clip. And uh, do not uh, run. It's not an yeah. option that's yeah. available yeah. to yeah, you. It doesn't matter. Create witnesses, de-escalate, film, protect the most vulnerable among you, and then have your line already drawn in your mind beforehand where you know if it's some people that's, don't get, I, I've often said this when we've had hostile, I say, hey, listen, don't get, I can't yeah. let you get in within arm's length of me. Yeah, right. Stay over, if you stay yeah. there, you're fine. I've made it very clear, and that's been on camera. Maybe yours is someone pushes you. Legally, that line, uh, half Asian bill can tell us a little bit more clearly what right, it is, yeah. but it depends on the state. And also notice that these attacks, these assaults are happening in states where you can't carry or yeah, defend yourself. Yeah, exactly. Nice and blue I, I, this, this really hit me hard because when I saw this, I started thinking through, like literally, I started putting myself in a position where I'm with my family. And for me, that's my wife and a, and a newborn. If I'm, you know, a couple months from now when his immune system's yeah. up, I'm out at a restaurant. I'm in a very dangerous situation where I, the, the best case scenario, if things go south, is that I get my butt kicked in front of my wife and she right. can't do anything about it and she's crying and it's yeah. something that will stay with us for the rest of our lives. Worst case scenario, my wife and my child potentially, because mobs don't exactly act rationally. It happens all the right. time. Get beaten up, women get hurt. get hurt. Yeah, kids, Old everything. People, the whole we thing. see it. And the only reason that this would happen is because a group of people walked by and said, because I didn't put my fist in the air, I'm a racist. Right. That's what they said. It that's needs the to stop working. That's fashion. Peep, peep, and this is I why I say this, the don't sit there, take it, do not yeah. put up your fist. If you're too no. afraid to try and de-escalate and film and protect those among you, or the most vulnerable among you, then at the very least, don't raise a fist. And I would also recommend asking for a steak knife for your soup, yeah. half yeah. Asian bill. <laughs> <laughs>
I think the advice is spot on because <laughs> only through engaging those different techniques can you maintain your safety in the variety yeah. of ways that are necessary, right? If you can try and move away, if you can't, you've got it on film, you're trying to correct the record or make sure that it's safe and understanding that you get other people involved, right? You never know who's nearby, but those people can't be advantageous to you if you're not vocalizing, right. you know, I need you to stay away. I don't know you. I'm uncomfortable. I'm feeling threatened, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, one of the, th the hard things that I, when looking in those various clips is, business owners right yeah and they're oh, letting it like happen. they're standing in there and, and think about it you got, you got a person who maybe it's a restaurant they're just now finally getting some business and they're in their mind going wait a minute if i walk Sucks. outside yep. okay my restaurant's getting burned down tonight yep. all my workers are going home i can't feed my community uh what what am i doing i, I and i don't know what the good answer it's is tough, and the reason is, is because the no, business my, owner yeah. shouldn't have to answer that question right. no but there's no excuse at this point because when you have, have people to. who say you're with us or you're a racist. They're not even saying you're with us or against us. They're no. saying you're with us. Raise your fist, which raise by the way fist. has all kinds of historical connotations. Do Communism, us. you yeah. silly bitch. Put up your fist. You're either with us or you're a racist. Right. So I now say to business owners, hey, I don't think you're. I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican. But if I'm eating your establishment, it's your job to make sure that it's a safe eating experience. Yeah. And don't yeah. come complaining to me when I stiff you on the bill. I would leave if the kitchen were on fire. I'm certainly going to leave when yeah. people are physically accosting yeah. me and you're not doing anything. There is no option at this point to remain neutral. You either prevent people from being hurt in civil society or you are an enemy. And yeah. I think that's yeah. a pretty wide berth that we're giving you. If you can't find some way to parallel park in there, well then guess what? I'm not going to complain when they devour you last.